Last year, we had the enthronement ceremony for His Majesty the Emperor, and in November, we had the Daijosai, the first imperial offering of rice. In the past, here in Osaka, in the year after the Daijosai, a ritual called the Yasoshima Festival was held. Because of the lack of research, it is hard to fully understand this festival, but I have come here today to give you a better understanding of it. Last year's Daijosai was the 77th, counting from the reign of Emperor Tenmu. The Stalin includes the emperors of the Northern Dynasty, though. The essence of Daijosai is to face the east direction to worship the sun goddess Amaterasu at the Ise Grand Shrine. In this illustration, you see two identical east-west palaces for the prayer, Yukiden and Skiden, to the left and right. Inside the palaces is a divine seat where the emperor enters. In Kyoto, the festival is held facing the southeast towards the Ise Grand Shrine. And in the following year, the Yasoshima festival was scheduled. Now let me tell you a bit about its geographical background. It was during the Emperor Tenmu's reign that Daijosai was first held. And together, the great purification of the nations was held to purify the world of all the misfortunes and sins. It began in the reign of Emperor Tenmu in the latter half of 7th century. At that ceremony, the words of the great purification was offered. If you take a look at this map, Daijosai began in the era of Emperor Tenmu, when the capital was in Asuka, in Yamato, today's Nara. It continued through the time of Fujiwara Palace and of Heijo Palace throughout Nara period. And then the capital moved to Naraoka near Kyoto and then to Heian Palace in Kyoto. If you look at the rivers flowing out, those from Nara and those from Kyoto all feed into Osaka Bay. Yamato River was changed of its course later in 1704 and started flowing into Sakai in the south. Until then, all rivers in ancient times that started in the capitals all fed into Osaka Bay. That is very important. Another important ritual, along with Daijosai, is Ohalai, the Great Purification Ceremony. It was meant to exorcise the misfortune of the emperor, civil and military officials, and of other countries. At each succession of emperor, the imperial delegation was sent to Naniwatsu to hold this festival. The oldest extant record is called Montoku Tenno Jitsuroku, or Emperor Montoku's true record, one of the national histories from early Heian period, written in 850 AD. The mission included Miyaji, the emperor's personal diviner and priest who performs fortune-telling in purification, then Shinkinshi, the harpist, and Naishinosuke, the lady-in-waiting who serves by the emperor's side and Mikannagi, the Sherman. These people were sent to the country of Setsu to worship Yasoshima, meaning the 80 islands. This is the earliest of archives. So it was the reign of em Emperor Montoku from the time to Emperor Gohorikawa's reign in 1224. Early Kamakura period, spanning 374 years, there were a total of 22 instances of this festival. It was sometimes canceled due to warfare, though. Only the first time was held in the year before Daijosai, but since then, it was always held in the year after Daijosai. Going into the Kamakura period, it was held two or three years later. 
purification means driving away all the heavenly and worldly sins and misfortunes. For this purpose, we have the words of the great purification. These words are found in Engishki code and are still used at shrines partially. Quote, like a ship moored at Otsube, a large harbor, with its ropes free from its bow and stern, pushed out into the ocean. Like a sharp sickle that cuts away the roots of a thick tree over there, we pray that all our sins be purged so that there will be none left behind. Goddess Seolitsuhime in the fast flowing river, with waterfall falling off the tops of high and low mountains, shall take all our sins out to the ocean. Unquote. Water flows from the foot of the high and low mountains, and then it flows down into the rivers, and then taken into the ocean. So, the heavenly and worldly sins are washed down the rivers to the great ocean. That's the content of these words. Sin and misfortunes are exorcised from the end of high and low mountains. The end means foot of the mountains, from there to the rivers to the ocean. Now, Buddhism was introduced to Japan in ancient times. Just as it did, an epidemic broke out. At that time, it is said that a Buddhist statue was floated to Horie in Naniwa all the way from Asuka down to Yamato River and down to Naniwa on the sea at Horie. In ancient times, people believed the misfortunes were exorcised through rivers, and it also made myths. For Yamato and Yamashiro, meaning capitals of Nara and Kyoto, the Bay of Osaka Naniwa facing the ocean was exactly the place for purification. The Naniwa Tsu and Sumiyoshi Tsu were the, the gateway to the maritime traffic and the window to the continent of China. The main reason why Osaka prospered through the modern era is because of its position that allowed for exchanges with the sea throughout the archipelago or even with the continent. This favorable Geographical condition was crucial, I believe. The procedure of the worship in Yasoshima Festival is described in detail in a record from around 1110 in the late Heian period called Go Keshidai, Orders of Oe Family by Oe Masafsa. The ceremony can be roughly divided into three parts. First is the departure ceremony for the messengers in the inner sanctum. At that time, the chief priest and diviner Miyaji offered the emperor, the Onusa, a paper streamer. The emperor brushes it gently and blows on it and returns it to him. And then the lady in waiting receives the box of Onzo imperial robes. She takes it down the Yodogawa River by boat to the land of Naniwa, taking the paper streamer and the box of robes just received. Though there's no extant illustration depicting Yasoshima festival, there is an illustrated scroll called Kamo no Sain no Misogi or Gyokei, Purification of Imperial Princes of Kamo Shrine in the illustrated scroll of annual events now housed at the Imperial Household Agency. It is called a Takatsukasa copy. There, Lady Kamo no Sain purifies herself. She is not entering the river and stays inside a tent like hut, Aksha. To the right is the river, and in front of the river sits Miyaji, the priest and diviner, performing the ritual of purification with the staff of paper streamer Onusa. 
This is the ceremony of purification of gyoke or purification. A similar ceremony was also performed at Yasoshima Festival. Then the lady in waiting receives the box of the imperial robes and accompanies the priest Miyaji to the festival site at Naniwatsu. There are many speculations about the exact location of the festival sites in Naniwa. It's not easy to identify its location with changes of the terrain, the course of the river, and many other things. At Naniwatsu, they face the west, and Miyaji, the priest, performs the purification ritual by offering the paper streamer. Then the lady in waiting takes out the robes and swings them. For this ritual, there is also an illustrated scroll called Appeasement Ceremony in the illustrated scroll of annual events, also a line drawing. It is black and white, draft-like, and not very clear. In this painting, there is an image of the lady-in-waiting holding up the robe of the emperor. The robe was carried in an ox cart, and the lady-in-waiting carries it to the site of the festival. Likewise, in the Yasoshima festival, the robe is swung from the beach of Naniwa towards the sea, probably also to the left, to the right, and to the left again. Then purification is performed. Further, since it's for appeasement, the spirits of the gods of the islands of Yasoshima are received in this imperial robe. At the end, they throw the offerings and ceremonial object into the sea. Back at the inner sanctum of the palace, the lady-in-waiting returns the imperial robe to the emperor. The messenger of the festival reports to the emperor on successful completion of the ritual. With these three ceremonies, Yasoshima Festival is held. It is centered on purifying the emperor's flesh of misfortune and receiving the divine spirits of the gods of the islands into the body of the emperor. By so doing, they face the western sea to pray for the development of the country and for peaceful governance of the land of the emperor. Such important things are reported at this venue, and then endorsed by the spirits of the gods of Yasoshima. That's the ritual carried out here. Yasoshima, 80 islands mean a lot of islands, 80 of country, 80 of islands, great many islands. The word 80 islands also symbolizes the creation and development of much land, based on the myth of Kuniumi, the birth of the land of Japan. So what exactly is the essence of the once-in-a-generation Yasoshima festival? First of all, the fact that it's held in the year after Daijosai signifies that at Daijosai, what's important is praying to the goddess Amaterasu for the land of Japan, the imperial ancestor, by facing the east or in the case of Kyoto, the southeast, to pray for a good harvest and peace for the land of Japan. And when it's finished, in the year later, in ancient times, or at the beginning of the Middle Ages, by Yasoshima Festival. There is a book of poetry called Shu Chu Shou, pocket book of poetry, describing this festival. It was written by a monk called Kensho. Quote, Yasoshima, at the beginning of the new emperor's reign, Menoto, the imperial nani, unquote. You see here, very young emperors were more and more common in the late Heian period, so his nani, Menoto, attends this message. Quote, Imperial mission to Yasoshima involving imperial nani is sent to go around islands of Yasoshima. 
They say instead of holding purification ceremony on each island, they stand on this side of Sumiyoshi Beach, facing the sea to the west, to worship the gods of all the islands." Unquote. So the festival had been held on the sea at Naniwa up to the middle of the Heian period. There's another illustration of the Yasoshima festival that's made into a movie this time. This one, painted at the beginning of the Showa period, early 20th century, depicts the situation in the latter half of the Heisei'an period, with people going out to the seashore at Sumiyoshi. The text of this song from the beginning of the Karamakura period in 14th century sings about the tour of the Yasoshima as originally a pilgrimage to the islands to perform purification. So this refers back to the procedure that Miyaji, the priest, had used way back. Another important thing is to face the Western Sea. Whether at Naniwatsu or Sumiyoshi Beach, it was important to hold the ritual facing the Western Sea. To Ise Grand Shrine, Daijo Sai was held facing the east or southeast from the capitals. Another thing is that the emperor is confined to the capital. But his priest is sent out as his proxy to hold the ceremony at Naniwatsu facing the Western Sea. Why is it? As it says at the very end, quote, they are set to stand on this side of Sumiyoshi Beach facing the sea to the west to worship the gods of all the islands, unquote. All these islands, the 80 islands, is a symbol of the land of Japan. In the midst of the birth of the nation, the first was Awaji Island, then the islands of the Seto Inland Sea spread into the whole country. The islands in the west were meant to be so, I believe. From that point of view, first is the belief in Onusa, the paper streamer, and purification using it. That belief in ritual purification is linked to the faith in Sumiyoshi Shrine and the procedure of involving the spirits and appeasing them using Onzo, the imperial robe, the ritual of appeasing the spirit of the country to receive the spirit of the gods of the 80 islands, further throwing the ritual object into the sea to offer to the divine spirit of the islands to receive divine blessings. These are also symbolic rites based on the myths, the birth of the islands of Japan whereby the land of the many islands is born and developed. Among them, the utmost importance is to pray for the preservation of the flesh of the emperor. Since this was a once-in-a-generation event, it was important to pray for the preservation of the emperor's flesh during his reign, which means to pray for the safety and peace of the country, its land, and its people in the festival was considered important. It is true that the prime importance is the Daijo Sai, communal tasting of first crop of rice by emperor facing Ise to worship. However, equally important was this other festival from ancient times through to the first half of the Middle Ages, in which the emperor's messenger was sent to the west for Daijo Sai of the sea, as it were. I think it can be said that it was a very important matter indeed, both historically and culturally. So, there are many things about Yasoshima Festival that are hard to understand, but it is fundamentally a ritual of purifying and appeasement of spirits and protection of the flesh of the emperor, which led to the peace of the nation. This concludes my explanation of the Yasoshima Festival. Thank you very much.